Everything is said. Thank you for joining. Uh, I will post the playlist again in the chat for the new people that have come. Let me just do that now. Everybody. Okay, so we have two channels running. Very good. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. Welcome to the palace. Um, I need to get my things sorted. We are good to start. So uh, you won't need too many things tonight. Just uh, maybe if you have a book handy, it can double as a block. A towel can double as a strap, uh, but we should be able to avoid most of those things. If there's any, what is the title of the username to search in my phone? Um, okay, Maria, it's called, one second, I'll just look it up for you. Maria, you should be able to see that, that's the name of it, right? Uh, okay, I think that's everything sorted. Wonderful. So I wanted to talk briefly about um, something with, in regards to our practice before we get started. So it's about necessarily the, the seed that we plant that is our practice, the, the seed that we plant that becomes our practice. So. We all imagine this yoga practice as something quite special to us, but what that really means is eventually everything starts from a small point, you know, a single seed. And, and we have this seed deep inside of our heart, and, and it's our job as practitioners to plant the seed in a way. So we plant the seed and we look for the most nutrient land that we can find, the best soil, the most sunlight, good rainfall, all of the things, we, all the factors we can include, we look into heavily. And then we take this little seed and we place it in the earth, we cover it up, we start to water it, we start to take care of it, we make sure the birds don't come and attack the seed. And eventually this little seed sprouts. It becomes a tiny little thing just reaching for the sun. And then eventually once it finds the sun, it becomes a small tree, like a teenager, becoming sort of self-aware, self-sufficient, self-supporting. Complex emotions start forming, and the tree continues to grow, and we continue to water it, we continue to look after it, consistently practicing, consistently doing the things that we need to protect this little tree. And then eventually one day we have a big, big tree very big branches, lots of flowers, lots of fruit, if it's a fruit tree that you particularly felt like planting, could be anything. But this tree has the ability to drop other seeds. And this tree now has the ability to shelter us from the storm. This tree gives us the ability to maybe build a tree house in the tree. We take refuge in the tree. And in the same way that the tree becomes our practice, so when times are tough, we take refuge in our practice. And that's why this regular, consistent practice that we always talk about, always showing up in some form, it doesn't matter if you're not able to fully practice. Come to your mat in some way, find a way to get through. Find a way to find that time in your day to make your practice your priority. So that's what I would like to really embody tonight is just allowing this time to be your practice time because since I've been inside I've been so absorbed in phone this project that project and and I haven't really been uh, focused on one thing overly well and I realize that that's something that this this new way of living or this temporary new way of living uh, can can pull us out of our ability to focus on one thing because you know we're at home we have all our distractions so it's quite common just to let everything sort of become one big washing machine. So we're really trying to take everything back to a single one-pointed logical fashion and really work with that. So we will change just simply the ohms because we don't have chant books or anything. Um, 
and then we will begin the practice. So I'll get the home. You want to come and chat? Gonzalo is hiding off the screen because he doesn't want to chat. But I will make him. You have to join me at least. Okay. So think of that seed as we chant. Feel it between your palms. Palms to face up. Feel your entire back body now supported by the earth. In the same way we take refuge in our practice, we take refuge in the earth. Mother Earth, she holds us. Mindful breathing, breathing in, we are fully aware of the in breath. We feel the breath as it enters our body. We know we are breathing in. And breathing out, we are fully aware of the out breath. We feel the breath as it leaves our bodies. We know we are breathing out. Arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. Good. Pull the knees into the chest. Take the forehead to the knees. Hug your knees in. And rock and roll up and down your spine five times. Until you come to a comfortable seated position, flip around and take a downward dog position. Once you've found downward facing dog, press the hands and the feet into the floor evenly. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, the upper arms rotate outwards. Good. Feet and hands press down evenly and the energy meets at the hips. Challenge your sitting bones back and up, bend your knees, just slightly lift your sitting bones a little higher towards the back of the room. Contact with all four corners of each hand into the floor, press the fingers down evenly, spread the weight. Good. Inhale, just float the body forward to plank and just move on your wrist. Exhale, take it back. Adho Mukha Swanasana. Inhale, float forward to plank. Exhale, take it back. Adho Mukha Swanasana. One more. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, back. Adho Mukha. Now walk your hands back to your feet. Walk your hands to your feet. Yes. Yeah, take opposing elbows and just let the spine hang. Relax the entire back body forward. Let the crown of the head reach towards the floor. Activate the legs here. Press all four corners of each foot down firmly into the floor. As if your little feet were growing roots down into the floor, we connect with the floor, we touch the floor. Zip the midline up a little bit tighter through the inside of your legs. And allow that energy to fold yourself forward more slightly. Good. Breathing is engaged. Ujjayi breath, there's a subtle restriction in the vocal cords. It heats the body from the inside out, allowing this practice to become fully absorbed. Our mind is on our breath. We are fixated with this, following it with attention to detail. Release the palms back to the floor and walk the hands forward. Find your way back into downward facing dog. Good. Lift the sitting bones back and up. 
Lift up onto the toes. Now bend the right knee and lower the left heel down to the floor. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, switch the feet over. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch. Stay with that. Inhale, lift. Exhale and switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Just moving organically on breath. Inhaling up. Exhale and switch. Inhale, come up. Exhale, both heels to the floor. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin to the floor. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, we go forward. Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels and extend through your legs. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find your rhythm here, breathe. Exhale, good. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, slide the body forward into Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck your toes, push your seat to your heels, and then extend through your legs. Good. Breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Soften the knees and look forward. Now step or jump your feet between your hands, lengthen your spine, look forward. Now, everybody with the spine long, looking forward, drive your feet down into the floor a little bit firmer. Good. Now fold over those strong legs. Inhale, roll up to standing vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. We feel our feet connected to the floor. We bring our hands together in front of the heart. Arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. All together, inhaling. your body, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, pull the torso forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Uddha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Feel the breath move in. Feel the breath move out. Wonderful. Inhale. Exhale two. There's a rhythm in your breath. It's inhale. Exhale three. Like the fall and the rise of the tide. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the knees. Look four. Inhale. Step or jump. Spine long. Gaze four. Exhaling. Fold over strong legs. Inhale. Lift all the way up. Prayer hands to the sky. Look to thumbs. Exhale, release. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen, pull the torso forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Follow the breath in. Follow the breath out. Stay with that. Patanjali teaches us chapter 1.14 of the sutras. Satu dirgakala nairantarya satkara sevito dritabhumi. For the practice to be firmly grounded, it must be consistent and over a long period of time. Follow that method. Soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Good. Inhale, press the feet into the floor. Lift up, arms to the sky. Exhale, release Tadasana. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. Look to thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Pull your torso forward. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breath moves in, breath moves out. One breath in, one breath out. Fixated on it. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, 
Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift arms, lift torso, prayer hands to the sky. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and extend through your legs. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right foot steps forward, left heel down. Inhale, pop up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. One movement, one breath. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel down. Inhale, pop up. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Good. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Tighten the Mula Bandha now. Inhale. Exhale, four. Firm base. Inhale. Exhale, soften knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumb. <laughs> Utkatasana. Exhale, release Tadasana. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up and arch back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms behind you, extend through your legs. Inhale, place the hands on the floor, step the right foot back into lunge, look forward. Exhale, left foot next to right, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose, Palakasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling Urdhva Mukha. Exhaling Adho Mukha. Inhale, forward to plank using the core. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, elbows are tucked. Inhale, forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels and extend through your legs. Inhale, step your right foot forward, look forward. Exhale, left foot next to right, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, extend through your legs, then arch back. Exhale, bend your knees, swing your arms behind your back, extend legs and fold. Inhale, hands on the floor, the left foot steps back to lunge, looking forward. Exhale, right foot next to left, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, elbows are tucked. Inhale, forward into Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, extend the legs. Inhale, left foot steps forward, look forward. Exhale, right foot next to left and fold in. Inhale, bend your knees, hook your thumbs, extend your legs, then arch back. And exhale, release, Tadasana. Step or jump your feet to hip distance apart and parallel. Bring your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward, take the arms overhead, strong through the feet here. Inhale. Exhale, one, roll the shoulders open. Inhale. Exhale, two, good. Inhale. Exhale, three, press the feet into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, four, roll the arms down more. Inhale. Exhale, five. Now inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release the arms alongside the body. Step the feet back together. Inhale, take your arms up overhead and look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen. Now pull the torso forward. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, left heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, windmill the hands to the floor and step back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, hands to floor, step back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathe, inhale, exhale, put it all back in order, inhale, exhale, mind, breath, bandhas, engaged, inhale, 
Exhale, good. Inhale, step your right foot forward, left heel down. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, extend through your right leg. Exhale, reach the right fingertips forward, then down. Take it into Trikonasana. Gaze up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Squeeze the feet together. Inhale. Exhale, four. Reach the arm to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, five. Strong legs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the front leg into warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, take the right hand to the floor on the outside edge of the right foot. Extend the left arm overhead. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, one. Good. Stay with it. Inhale. Exhale, two. In and out. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Absorb in with your breath. Inhale. Exhale, five. Strong legs. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, hold that. Inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, turn the right foot to face the side of the room. Inhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward. Extend the arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, one. Tuck the chin into the chest. Squeeze the legs together. Exhale, take it forward a little more. Good. Squeeze the feet. Fold it forward, exhale, good, stay with it, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, now strong legs, inhale, come all the way up, release the arm, now step the right foot to the back of the mat next to the left foot, Tadasana, breathe, inhale, exhale, now separate your feet mat with uh, hip distance apart, Exhale, fold forward. Good, slide the heart, hands underneath the feet, palms facing up, good. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Now press the palms down into the floor with the feet, begin to extend the legs, and exhale, fold everything forward. Take the elbows wide, move the chest towards the chin. Good, keep pressing the balls of the feet down into the hands, and roll your body forward. Weight should be on the toes, good, inhale, Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Now, inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, place your palms on your hips. Inhale with the flat back, come up. And then exhale, step your feet back together. Inhale, take your arms up overhead and look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, pull your torso forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands, right heel down, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, extend through the left leg. Exhale, reach forward, then down, right arm to the sky, Trikonasana. Inhale, exhale, one, breathe. Inhale, exhale, two, good, absorb. Inhale, exhale, three, commit with your breathing. Inhale, exhale, four, good. Inhale, exhale, five, strong legs. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bend the left knee, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, left hand to the floor on the outside edge of your left foot, right arm extends overhead. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two, breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Now inhale, come up into warrior two, exhale there. Inhale, exhale, now inhale, windmill the hands to the floor and step the left foot back into a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot between your hands. Exhale, lower your left knee down to the floor. Inhale, bring the hands into prayer, lift the torso. Exhale, twist to the right, hook the elbow on the knee. If you want a little more, extend through the left leg. Good, twisting deeper on the exhales. 
Inhales, we're lengthening. Exhale, flow forward and twist. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, roll it open. Good. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale. Bring your hands to the center. Frame the foot. Exhale, extend through your right leg. Inhale, step the left foot in slightly, ground the heel. Exhale there. Now, move your left hand to the outside edge of your right foot. Floor or block if you need. Good. And then extend the right arm up to the sky. Take Parivrita Trikonasana. Good. Press the hand down into the floral block and extend the right arm further, twisting through your torso as you do this. Also, while we're here, squeeze both legs into the midline, tighten it up. Make sure the ball of the right foot has contact. Good. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale both hands to the floor, framing the right foot. Lengthen the spine and look forward and then exhale, fold over your right leg. Inhale. Exhale. One. Breathe. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Now inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, soften your right knee. Inhale, lift your left leg off the floor and find warrior three. Breathe, inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Now take your right hand to the floor and lift your left arm to the sky. Rolling the left hip on top of the right. Ardha Chandrasana. Gaze to the left fingertips if you can. Breathe. Good. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Press the foot into the floor like it's the roots of a tree. Good. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring the left hand back to the floor and slowly lower the left leg back to where it came from. Good. Right leg's fully extended. Inhale, lift the torso and come up. Exhale, turn your right foot to face the side of the mat. Good. Inhaling, take the arms wide. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward, take the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale one. Now tuck your chin into your chest, plant your feet down firmer and see if you can get your arms to open a little more. Good. Inhale, exhale three, two more. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale. Good. Now inhale, come up slowly. Exhale, turn the left foot to face the front of the mat. Good. Drop the right knee down to the floor. Inhale, bring your hands into prayer. And exhale, twist to the left. If you want a little bit more, extend the back leg. Good. Press both feet down evenly. Extend the energy forward to the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, you twist in deeper. Good. Keep driving the back heel back. Just keep extending the crown of the head forward. Keep the breath going in and out. Good. Breathe. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, come back to center, hands frame the foot. Exhale, extend through your left leg. Inhale, step the foot in slightly, ground the heel. Move your right hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Press the hand down into the floor, lengthen, then extend the arm up and twist. Gaze to the left fingertips if you can. Parivrita Trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Press the hand down, reach the hand up. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale, come back to center. Hands frame the foot, lengthen the spine, look forward, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, fold forward over your leg. Chin and chest track over that left leg. Chin is in line with the foot. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale. Now, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, soften the left knee. Inhale, lift the back leg off the floor. Find warrior three. Good, breathe. And now take the left hand to the floor or block. 
and extend the right arm high, rolling that hip on top of the other one. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Gazes on the right fingertips if you can. Slowly press the foot that's standing down into the floor and imagine there's little roots growing down, deep roots, holding you solid. Breathe. Good. Bring the hand back to the floor. Lower the back leg down. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, inhale, step the right foot to the outside edge of your right hand, exhale, lower the back knee to the floor, inhale, lengthen the spine, pull the chest forward, exhale, lower down onto your forearms, good, now tuck the back toes under and extend through the back leg, if you're comfortable here, breathe. Push the air in, push the air out, opening through the hip. Good. Now, if you're comfortable, come back up onto the hands. Press the right foot down into the floor firmly. Interlace your fingers behind your back and then roll the arms overhead. Maybe for you tonight, the crown of the head can touch the floor. Deep, full breathing. Taking the arms overhead as best you can. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, drop the left knee to the floor. Bring the right hand to the right knee and push the right knee out to the side. Press the left hand down into the floor and you want to expand your chest open. Feel that right hip rolling itself open. Deep breathing, inhale. Exhale, stay here. Inhale. Exhale, opening it up. Inhale. Exhale, follow it. Inhale, exhale, good. One more. Inhale, exhale. Bring the hands back to the floor. Lengthen the spine and as you exhale, step back into a downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, left foot steps to the outside edge of the left hand. And as you exhale, the right knee drops down to the floor. Inhale, lengthen the chest. Exhale, drop down onto the forearms if it feels good for you. Tuck the back toes under and extend through the back leg. Now you might stay here, pulling the elbows towards the body and trying to lengthen the crown of the head forward. If you're comfortable, press down with the left foot. Come up onto the arms first so the hands are on the floor. Interlace the fingers behind the back, rolling the shoulders back and over the head. Maybe you take the crown of the head to the floor. Good. See if you can get your torso below your left knee. You really want to sink into the hip. Breathe. Exhale. Good. Stay with it. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now drop the hands to the floor. Drop the back knee to the floor. Take the left hand to the left knee. Press the right palm down and at the same time push the knee away from you. Create space across your chest. Good. Take the gaze out over that left shoulder. Pushing the knee out to the side. Sinking down a little deeper. Good. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Bring the hands back to the floor. Exhale. Step back. Ardha Mukha Swanasana. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, prayer hands to the sky, look to thumbs. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Now, inhale, bend your knees, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Good, now you want to stay here, breathe. Take the seat a little bit lower. Now, not so low, go to go up a bit, yes. Pick your right foot up off the floor and wrap it around your left leg. Good, now take your left arm underneath your right arm. Bring the palms to touch if you can. See if you can sink a little bit lower. Lift the elbows in line with the shoulders. Good, round through the spine. Squeeze the legs together. Take it as low as you can. Follow your breath. That little standing foot's growing seeds down into the floor. Feel them. Good. Release the arms and come up. Good. Breathe. Inhale, come back into Utkatasana. Exhaling. 
Inhale, lift the left leg over the right leg. Double wrap, include the calf muscle. Good, now left arm underneath the right arm. Bring the palms together into prayer. Sink down, bring the elbows in line with the shoulders and take the hands away from the face. Sink down as low as you can go. Find balance, standing legs, pressing down into the floor, watering the seeds of the little standing foot. Breathe. And slowly make your way back to standing, unraveling. Breathe. Feel both your feet press down into the floor now. Feel them connect. Press them down. Zip the midline of your legs up. Take a step back on your mat. Come up onto your toes. Now like you're in a very slow elevator, I want you to lower your seat all the way to your heels. Keeping the spine straight, shoulders stacked on top of the pelvis, lower it down. Once the seat touches the floor, separate the knees wide. Bring the palms onto the mat, shoulder distance apart. Good. Extend your legs and press your knees into your triceps. Look forward in front of your palms, shift weight into your fingertips. Inhale, lift the feet off the floor, Bakasana. Keep pressing the hands down. Good. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Stay with your practice here. If you fall, you come back. If you fall again, you come back. It's a process of repetition. Good, and if it's within your practice, tuck your chin into your chest slightly and lower the crown of the head to the floor. Maybe you lift up into a tripod headstand. Good. I can't see if anybody's lifted into tripod, but once you've gone up, come back down. And then step back to a plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now, inhale, float forward into a plank. Exhale, shift the weight onto the right hand and roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky. Vashistasana. Now, if you're comfortable here, stay there. If you want a little bit more, bend the left knee in. Maybe you catch the left big toe. And then maybe you extend the left leg up to the sky. Wherever you're comfortable, just stay there. Find balance. Now, think of the hand growing roots into the floor as well. Press down, lift the hips higher. Good, inhale, bring the left hand to the floor, come back into a plank. Exhale, go onto the outside edge of the left foot, press the left palm down and inhale, lift the right arm to the sky this time. Whatever variation you took on the other side, please find it on this one. Always pressing the hand down into the floor, lifting the hips, tightening the waist, it should narrow through the waist, good. If you can take the gaze up, look up. Keep breathing. One more. Inhale, take the hand back to the floor. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, forward into Bhujangasana. And exhale, tuck toes, seat the heels and extend through the legs. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good, drop down onto your forearms and take a dolphin pose. If you're comfortable, dolphin pose. Walk the feet in slightly. Move the chest back towards the thighs. Good, keep pressing those elbows down into the floor. If you're well versed in Pinchamayadasana, please come up. If not, just stay here. The same process of strengthening the shoulders, strengthening the core is going to happen. Keep pressing the floor down with the elbows. Keep moving the chest towards the thighs. Keep pressing the sitting bones up. Challenge your hips up and back. Yes. If you're up, come down. Come back up onto the hands into Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Elbows are tucked in. Inhale, slide forward. Bhujangasana. Stay in Bhujangasana. Lower ribs just touching the floor. Shoulders rolling back and down. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Crown of the head reaches forward and up. Yes. Now take your hands off the floor. Keep your shoulders exactly where they are. Now you're using your back muscles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take the forearms to the floor underneath the shoulders. Come into a sphinx position. 
Now the elbows, you want to squeeze them back in towards your body and pull the chest forward, creating space between the collarbones, rolling the shoulders back and down. Gaze is straight forward, deep, full breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, stay with it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Now, press the floor away from you and take it back into an Ardha Mukha Swanasana. Inhale, move yourself forward into plank. Exhale, lower Chaturanga, but hold Chaturanga. Now, in Chaturanga, elbows are bent at 90 degrees, elbows are directly on top of the wrist. Squeeze your core, squeeze your core, squeeze your core, squeeze your core, lower all the way down onto your abdomen. Extend the arms back alongside your body, preparing for Shalabhasana. You can interlace the fingers behind the back if you want to. Squeeze the ankles together. Inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the ankles and lengthen. Exhale, one. Inhale, lift more. Exhale, two. Breathe. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, one more. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Exhale. Lift again. Inhale. Exhale, lower it down. One cheek to the floor, just reset. Move the hips from side to side. Same posture again. Interlace fingers if you did before. Inhale, lift shoulders, lift ankles. Good, now stay there, bend your knees and catch your ankles from the outside edges. Kick the feet into the hands and use it to pull yourself higher. Dhanurasana, breathe, kick up, lift up. Good, that's it. Should be rocking on the diaphragm slightly, keep lifting, keep kicking. One more, kick it hard, kick it hard, kick it hard, lower all the way down. Breathe here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press the floor away and come into Upward Facing Dog. Stay in Upward Facing Dog. Thighs are off the floor. Shoulders are away from the ears. Chest is lifting. Breath is moving in. Create a little bit more space. Lift the chest a little higher. Press the hands down into the floor. One more. Exhale, Adho Mukha Swanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale forward into a plank, exhale drop the knees down to the floor, inhale lift and come to stand up on the knees, exhale there, have the toes tucked under if you want less back bend, point your feet if you want more, bring your hands to support your lower back, just feel your pelvis for a minute, I want you to push the tailbone down and forward and create space, now push your hips forward with that tailbone tucked under, Keep pushing the hips forward and then lift the chest up, lengthening the spine. Then you arch back and if it feels okay, you take the hands to the ankles. Keep pressing the hips forward and keep lifting the chest, keep creating space between the vertebrae. Keep arching back, stay with it. Good, hips forward, hips forward, hips forward, chest lifts. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take the hands to the floor and push back in the downward facing dog. Shorten the downward facing dog just slightly. Now take the left hand to the right ankle and twist. Look out underneath your right arm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Take the left hand back where it came from. And exhale, take the right hand to the left ankle. Twist, looking out under the armpit. Allowing what is to be. Good. Deep, full breathing. One more. Good. Come back into your downward facing dog. Lengthen it up a little bit. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way onto the abdomen. Extend the right arm forward. Roll over onto your back. Now bend your knees and have your feet flat to the floor. Your feet are hip distance apart, parallel. Press the heels down onto the floor and lift the hips as high as you can. Interlace the fingers underneath the back. Stay here, move the chest towards the chin. Move the 
chest towards the chin. Yeah. Press the heels down a little harder. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Press down to lift up. Grow roots to grow it higher. Good. Release the arms alongside your body and lower down onto your back. Stay here. We'll do one more of those. Just add a slight variation. Inhale, press up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Roll the shoulders underneath, create the base. Now inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Extend the right leg high and point the right foot. Press the left foot further down into the floor and lift your hips as high as you can. Stay here. Breathe. Allow it to open. Keep pressing it down. Keep pressing it down. Good. Bend the right. Take the right foot flat to the floor. Inhale, pull the left knee in. And extend the left leg high. Point the left foot if it feels okay. Now press the right leg down. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Lower the left foot down, release the arms alongside the body, lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Now, if you want to, bring the hands next to the ears with the fingers facing towards your body. If you want to stay with the previous asana, please stay with the previous asana. Inhale, press up, come up, Udva Dhanurasana. Exhale. Now keep your breath moving. See your backs of your knees, move them towards your shoulders a little bit. Press the hands and the feet evenly. Upward, yes. Upward energy is coming from the hips. Keep pressing down, keep pressing down, keep pressing down. And chin to chest, lower down onto your back. Allow the sensations. Breathing. come next to the ears, fingers face towards you, inhale lift up, exhale down, good, press down lift up, exhale, good, keep pressing, lift up, good, breath moves in, out, one more, inhale, exhale chin to chest, lower yourself down, breathing, follow it, allow it, be with it. Good. Hands come next to the ears for the last round. Now, we're going to go into Ekapada Udvadhanarasana, so it's one-legged. If you don't feel like, just stay with Udvadhanarasana. If you want to follow along with my instructions, please do so. Inhale, press up. Exhale, stabilize everything. Now, move the left foot into the midline, just a slight walk in. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest and extend the right leg high. Point the right toes, keep pressing the hands, stay for two breaths. Good. Now lower the right foot back down. Walk back. Walk the left, the right foot into the midline, and inhale. Pull the left knee. Extend the left leg to the sky. Point the foot. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. And lower down. Good. Once both feet are firmly on the floor, tuck the chin into the chest. Lower yourself onto your back. Deep breathing with sound. Following it as it moves in. Following it as it moves out. Just hug your knees into your chest. Allow yourself a moment here. Take your hands to your knees, like this. Now, pull the knees away from the body and just feel it press your tailbone down into the floor. Good, stay with that for a few breaths, allow it. Now extend both legs to the sky. Point the feet. Wrap your right leg around your left leg. Double wrap, include your calf muscle. Move your hips slightly to the right side and then let the knees fall over to the left side. Take the gaze out over your right shoulder and just stay in the twist. Breathe. Come back to centre, unwrap the legs. Wrap the left leg around the right leg, double wrap. Just shift the hips slightly to the left side of the mat and then exhale the knees fall over to the right and your gaze is over your left shoulder. Breathing. Now 
One breath going in, one breath going out. We're always present with it, anchored to it, absorbed in it. Pull the knees back into centre. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Take the forehead to the knees. Rock and roll up and down your spine. Once you've done a few rocks, spin around, face the front of the mat and extend the legs forward. Take the legs forward but take them wide to 90 degrees. Flex the feet. Now if it's already tight here, you might want to place a block or a blanket underneath your seat. Actively squeeze the legs in. You should feel the femur bones pull themselves into the pelvis. Flex the feet. Plug the femur bones in as you activate the quadriceps. Lift the chest and lengthen the spine. Now exhale, fold forward between your legs. Wherever you go to, that's fine. Keep, wherever you are, just keep actively activating the legs. Actively activating. Keep flexing the feet and actively pulling the legs into the pelvis. This is what's gonna help you go forward with this. Surrendering yourself forward. Deep, full breathing. Energy is always in the legs. We never switch the base off. It's always engaged. Breathing. Now from there, extend the arms forward and reach the fingertips as far forward as you can. Good. Now walk both hands over to the right side. See if you can catch the right foot. If you're super open, you here, you walk over. You might want to reach the left arm up, take the left arm overhead and catch the outside edge of the foot. Breathe. Both legs are active. Belt or tail is completely available. And inhale, walk back to centre. And exhale, walk over to the left side. If it's okay here, stay there, or extend the right arm up, and then take the right arm overhead and find the outside edge of the left foot. Rolling that chest open, breathing in, breathing out. Deep breath in, deep breath in, deep breath in, deep breath in. Good, inhale, walk back to centre. Cross your legs in front of you, right knee in front of the left. Pull the knees into the chest. Plant the hands down into the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg back to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, bring it through. Inhale, take it back and up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, go across your body. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, core work. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow and extend the leg out to the side. Press the hand. Good. Inhale, now lift the arm up off the floor and extend through the side body. Lift the hips as best you can. You're looking to lengthen the body as best you can. Good. Press the floor away with the hand that's down. Good, now inhale, bring it back slowly, pull the knee into the chest and take it back down. Good, inhale, the left leg goes back and up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, it goes back and up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Extend the leg out to the side, press the foot down. Inhale, lift the left arm up the spine. Exhale, so right arm, you're back to front. Inhale, exhale and breathe. Inhale, exhale, extend, lift the hips. Good, reach forward and bring it back slowly with control. Step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, soften the knees, look forward. And as you inhale, step or jump your way through to a seated position. Extending the legs forward, separate the feet hip distance apart, parallel. Bring your hands next to your sitting bones. 
Now inhale, just press the hands down, lift the hips, come into a tabletop position. If you're very comfortable in your tabletop position, you might want to extend the legs fully. Breathe. One straight line from the knees to the shoulders if you're in tabletop. Press the floor away with the hands, roll the chest open, create space. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Good. Now lower the seat to the floor. Pull the right knee into the chest and sweep the right foot back and around so that the right foot is outside of the right sitting bones. Bring your knees together. Inhale, press the seat down into the floor. Make sure both sitting bones are trying to find the floor. And exhale, fold forward over your left leg. Chin and chest track over the line of the left leg. Good. If you can reach beyond your foot, with your left hand catch your right wrist, loop your shoulders back and down and pull your chest forward towards your foot. Good. Breathing. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale, lift up. Release the foot. Exhale, bend the left knee. Keep the right foot there. Keep the right foot there. Good. Bend the left knee in. With the right hand, take the outside edge of the foot. Good. Now extend the leg and twist. Extend the other arm to the back of the room. Breathe. Inhale, bring the left arm up. Exhale, take it to the foot. Lift the chest, look up. Exhale, bend both elbows and take the foot closer to your head. Good, keep your chest lifted, Jonathan. Don't, yes, perfect. Inhale. Exhale, crown chasana. Inhale. Exhale. Instagrammers, um, I'm going to restart the video now. So, just... Find me when you get back. Good, release the foot down to the floor. Good, extend the leg forward, extend both legs forward, shake them out. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm just doing some technical things. You can start by pulling your left knee into your chest and sweeping it back and around, placing the left foot to the floor outside of the sitting bones. Setting yourself up, grounding your seat, when you're ready, you can exhale, fold forward. Outside hand catches inside wrist. Triangle Mukha Ekapada Pashya Muktanasana. Good. If you're just joining us back on Instagram, we're folded forward with the left leg bent back. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the right foot into there. Good. With the left hand, take the outside edge of the right foot. And extend the leg. Reach the arm to the back and twist. Look out over the back shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now inhale, reach the right arm high. Exhale, take it to the foot. Now, press the seat down. Bend both elbows and pull the leg in towards the chin. Look up if you can. Gaze to the foot. Crown chasana. Breathe. Good. Beautiful breathing. Stay with it. And release the foot flat to the floor. Extend both legs forward. Uh, pull the knees into the chest. Extend the legs forward in front of you, lifting the feet off the floor. And we're coming into Navasana. So, Navasana, you can have the knees bent, or if you want more, extend your legs long. Good. Lift the chest and take the crown of the head back. Breathe. Feel your sitting bones press down. That's the base. That's where we stabilize from. The core has to work here. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. 
Exhale, take both hands to the right. Inhale, take it up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, go up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, cross your feet, left leg in front of the right. Now inhale, press your hands into the floor next to your sitting bones. Just lift up. Exhale, lower your seat back down. Navasana. Come straight back in. Pull the core in, re-engage everything. Good. Now inhale, extend the arms forward, extend the legs. Bend the right foot and touch the right foot on the floor. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left foot bends. Touch the left foot now. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right foot bends. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, both. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cross the feet. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Navasana. I'm sorry, one more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Yes, you signed on for this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Lie down on your back. Extend the legs forward. Now, breathe firmly. Feel your back body supported by the floor. Extend both legs long. Take your left hand. You're lying on the back. Take your left hand to your left thigh. Press the left thigh down into the floor. Then as you inhale, lift the right leg up. Catch the right big toe. If it's enough for you, stay there. If you want more, you want to lift the chest off the floor and tight. Try and take the chin to the leg. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lower the body down to the floor and take the leg out to the side. Good, try and keep the leg grounded that's on the floor. Keep pressing it down. If you want, just take your gaze out over the other side, over the left shoulder. Feel the hip open. Inhale, bring it back to centre. Exhale, fold in one more time, lift the torso. Inhaling and exhaling, release all the way down. Switch sides now. So the left hand's on the left leg. Sorry, the right hand's on the right leg. Wait, 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 I'm back to front. Yes, do the other side. <laughs> Lift the chest towards the leg. Breathing. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhale, pull the core in. Try and take the torso closer to the leg. Good. One more, inhale. Exhale, now lower the torso down to the floor. And then as you exhale, that left leg's gonna come out to the side. Gaze can go out over the right shoulder. Try and keep the extended leg hip down on the floor. You want to keep rolling that hip down into the floor and it's opening. Deep breathing. back to center. Fold in one more time, lift your torso and lower it all down. Good, sit yourself up. Bend your knees into your chest and open your knees out to the side. Good, now press the outside edges of your feet together, interlace your fingers around your feet, open the tops of your feet like they were a book. Feel that when you open the tops of your feet, you press the outside edges of your feet in together more, it's going to roll your feet down for you. Now as you inhale, lift the chest, take the pelvis closer to the feet, exhale, fold forward. Baddha Konasana. Now, the idea is that we're rolling the hips open, yeah? So you're sending the breath into the hips, you're pressing the outside edges of the feet together, your thumbs keep opening the tops of your feet, like you're reading a book, you're just flicking through the pages. Open, 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 breathing in, and out through the nose, staying with it, staying absorbed in your practice. Good. One more here. Inhale, lift it up. Now extend your legs forward. Prepare for Paschimottanasana. 
Press the legs down into the floor. So you want the backs of your legs to be firmly grounded in the floor. Remove the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Have your ankle bones touching, have your knees touching. Engage your quadriceps so your kneecaps are lifted and engaged. Good, now just rotate the femur bones in slightly. It's gonna ground your seat a little bit firmer into the floor. Press the hands into the floor and lift the chest. Engage through Mula Bandha. And on your next exhale, take the torso forward. Paschimottanasana. Deep, full breathing. One breath going in, one breath going out. Fully absorbed with the practice. Keep moving the chest towards the legs. Keep trying to lengthen the back body. Keep the energy in the legs. Keep pressing the backs of your legs down into the floor. Your heels press down. The backs of your knees press down. Your hamstrings press down. Your sitting bones press down. Over time, we become so solid in our foundation that nothing can shake us. Even the biggest storms, we might sway, but nothing moves. Unwavering conviction. It's what this practice brings to us. Inhale, come up. Exhale, now. Pull the right knee into the chest and take the right hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Stay grounded in your seat and just work the foot back and forth a few times. Beautiful. Now you want to take the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot and take the right arm around the back of the shoulder as best you can. Extend your right arm out to the side. Pressing the right arm down, extend the left leg. Look out underneath your left armpit. Compass pose, breathe. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale. Keep rolling the chest open. Keep pressing the right hand into the floor. Wherever you get to is fine, good. Bend the right knee and take it down, slowly. Left leg this time, pull the left knee into the chest. Take the outside edge of your left foot with your left hand and just back and forth on that hip a few times. Just preparing it. Breath is going in and out evenly. Switch it over, take the right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. Pull the right knee around, sorry, the left knee around the back of the left shoulder. Extend the left arm out to the side. Press the left hand firmly down into the floor and then extend your leg up to the side. Gaze out underneath the right armpit. Good. Breath. Always breathing. Extend both legs forward, lie down on your back. Take your legs overhead into Halasana. From Halasana, just walk the elbows in closer together. Walk the shoulders underneath the body, build the base. Then extend one leg up to the sky, then the other. Press the elbows down, lift up. reading the other night on the energies of the body uh, from a brilliant book, I might put the link in the story later, uh, talks about how one part of the body being in an imbalanced state can flow on to affect all of the other parts and how the interconnectivity of all things can be discovered in this way. So we can imagine that we have an imbalance with our breathing, our blood does not become oxygenated, then the rest of the extremities of the body might not be getting enough oxygen, so they begin to fail. Following this principle through life, when we begin to understand that every body, everything is interdependent on everything else. The trees will not grow without the sun shining, without the water falling. The air would not be good if the trees could not 
process or whatever that photosynthesis is happening. These, all these things are dependent on each other. And then it made me think, you know, what can I do? What can I do to make sure I contribute to this? And Gonzalo likes this variation. If you would like to come into Lotus Legs, please take Lotus Legs. Uh, made me think, you know, and, and it came to me that this practice, doing this work, makes me into a, a stable person. So that when the time comes that I get hit by a storm, I'm able to endure it, and I'm able to endure it quite pain-free, quite stress-free. And it's the foundation of a base. Building a base. Allowing a base to become your home. You find stability and you take refuge. From that place of refuge, you can become a support network for all those around you. If you're in lotus legs, unwrap the lotus legs and then come into halasana. Good. If your feet find the floor in halasana, interlace your fingers and press your forearms in down into the floor. Lift the sitting bones higher and try and extend through the back. Bend the knees, take them either side of the ears for Karnapindasana. Squeeze the knees. If the knees can make contact with the ears, apply some pressure on the ears. Tighten it up just a little bit. And release the palms flat to the floor and lower down all the way onto your back. Press your elbows down, lift the chest, tuck the, take the crown of the head back, lift the chest as high as you can and expand, roll the shoulders open too while you do this. Push the air into the front of the lungs now, we've got an open front part of the body, you really want to flood it with oxygen, breathing is imperative at this stage of the practice. Good. Now if you want a little bit more, bring your hands together in front of you, 45 degrees, extend forward, bring your hands together, Gondi. Okay, well, I'll demonstrate. Uttana Tadasana. And then lift the legs off the floor, 45 degrees. Yes, there you go. Press the crown of the head down into the floor and lift the chest a little bit up. Good. Release the arms, press the elbows down into the floor, lift your chest, tuck your chin into your chest and lower down onto your back. Make your way into a child's pose, very slowly. Headstand practice. So whatever inversion you choose, make it one that you can do with without shaking the mind up too much. We don't want to like create a, a fluctuation field in the mind before meditation. So do something that you know you're comfortable with, something that you know you can handle, uh, and then come up. And I've always been taught by, by my teacher in Australia that, that Shirshasana connects us directly to our lineage. Um, and it was literally, I think, today, this morning, I discovered that he had some online videos and I haven't seen him since I've been in Barcelona. Well, I've spoken with him a few times but not practiced with him because he's not overly technological. So, And it was um, like just mind-blowing to see him on the video today and I'm looking forward to practicing with him tomorrow morning. But He explains Shushasana in a way that we touch the Sahasrara point of uh, the chakra to the floor and everything that we are has been grown from this earth. So we're effectively touching our highest form of consciousness that resides in the top of the head to the earth and we're connecting everything together. So feel that as you connect your head to the floor. Reach up with the balls of your feet. Grow tall, grow strong. 
reach down through the floor with the crown of the head, through the elbow, through the forearms. Create the base, be solid. Very slowly coming down, finding child's pose. And make your way to a comfortable seated position. So take this opportunity, if you want to put any extra clothes or socks on, so that the seamless run home can be done. Once we start to meditate, we don't want to be adjusting the costume. So make yourself as comfortable as you can. I'll give you a minute just to make yourself comfortable. Coming to a comfortable seat, cross legs, whatever cross-legged position is most comfortable for you. One that allows you to have your spine extended, one that allows you not to think too much about the seat. Feel your sitting bones on the floor. We'll do a breathing exercise for a few minutes just to really prepare the mind for meditation. At the end of the breathing exercise, we will drop into meditation. So I will just drop away. Um, close your eyes. Have your shoulders back and down. So we will move through a breathing exercise that just involves playing around with the retention of the breath at the top of the inhale and holding it out at the bottom of the exhale. If at any stage you find yourself feeling uncomfortable using the exhale retention or the inhale retention, just release the breathing and breathe normally. So everybody exhaling fully to prepare. We'll start with four seconds. So inhale, two, three, four. Hold Kumbhaka, two, three, Four. Exhale, Rechaka, two, three, four. Hold, Kumbhaka, two, three, four. Inhale, Puraka, two, three, four. Hold, Kumbhaka, two, three, four. Rechaka, two, three, four. Kumbhaka, two, three, four. Puraka, two, three, four. Kumbhaka, two, three, four. Four, red chakra, two, three, four, kumbaka, two, three, four, puraka, two, three, four. Release your breathing. Let it be natural. Good. Now we'll go again, but this time we'll increase to six seconds. Again, remember, be mindful. If it's too much, let it go. Everybody exhaling all the air out to prepare. Inhale, begin, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, Three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Two. Three, four, five, six. Release the breathing. Inhale fully. Exhale fully. 
Inhale, fill up. Exhale, hold the air out at the bottom of the exhale for as long as you can. Just be still. When you think you can't hold anymore, just go a little bit more quiet in the mind. Close down the eyes and drop into stillness. As you breathe in, have full awareness of the in-breath. Know you are breathing in. Feel the chest rise as a reference. And as you exhale, be fully aware of the out breath. Feel the breath as it leaves the body. Feel the chest fall as a reference. Bring your mind back to your little seed. Maybe through the energy of Maitri, the loving kindness shining the light on that little seed, giving it what it needs to grow. Expanding exponentially. at any stage you realize that you've started some internal monologue, you've started to engage with the thought that's outside of your practice, with as much love as you can handle, bring yourself back to your practice with compassion towards yourself, with kindness, pure equanimity. disturbance as possible, find your way onto your backs, take your final resting position, Shavasana.
very slowly, following the breath through your body. Move the fingertips and the toes. Just maybe turn the head from side to side. Rolling onto one side of your body. Find your way to a comfortable seat. Bring the hands together in front of the arm. We dedicate this practice to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be happy, may all beings be at peace. May the thoughts, words and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness, to that freedom for all. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. May our seeds begin to grow. May we support each other. It has been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for your dedication to your practice. You really are a special bunch of people. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for joining. And um, keep checking the website for the schedule and any information. We'll do our best to keep it flowing. It's been a real pleasure. Have a lovely night. Thank you very much. <laughs>